so in this lecture we will discuss about uh, what are the various uh, closer properties of uh, recursively enumerable language so like uh, every language we have closer properties in our previous lecture also we, we discussed about uh, context free language closer properties similarly for recursively enumerable language also we have closer properties so now here we will see the combination of recursively enumerable and recursive language also both combinations will be considered here so now here you can see recursively enumerable language also called as semi decidable language also called as turing machine recognizable language so whereas recursively enumerable language gives only the result as yes so only that means acceptance for not acceptance case it won't give only one result if it if it is only yes that's why it is only called as semi decidable then a language is recursively enumerable if some turing machine accepts it so when you can say a language is recursively enumerable there exists some turing machine which accepts it formally this can be defined as the class of recursively enumerable language is defined as rel equal to l such that l is subset of uh, sigma closer and there exists a turing machine m such that l equal to l of m there exists a turing machine which accepts that language so this is called as recursively enumerable language this is also called as semi decidable language so an input string w belongs to l then the turing machine m enters on an accepting state that is accepting instantaneous description and halts so but on input string w which is not belongs to l whatever the string we have taken that string is not belongs to the given language then the turing machine m either halts entering without an accepting id or never halts so we we saw an example never halts means it loops forever so two possibilities are there if any string which is not belongs to l so then the other interrelated language which is called as recursive language the recursive and recursive enumerable both are interrelated languages so recursive language is also called as decidable language the difference between recursively enumerable and recursive language or recursively enumerable language which gives only yes that is semi decidable whereas recursive language is called as decidable language which gives the both results that is yes or no that means accepting or not accepting or reject that is the difference between recursive and recursively enumerable languages a language l is recursive if there is some turing machine m halts on every input here you can see this is very important the recursive language is also accepted by turing machine but the turing machine halts on every input whatever the given input all inputs so it halts so then only that language is called as recursive language on some inputs only it halts means that is recursively enumerable language so therefore the turing machine m halts on every input w belongs to sigma closer and l equal to l of m formally it can be defined as same as recursively enumerable language so that is l l such that l is subset of sigma closer and there exists turing machine such that m halts for all w for all w belongs to sigma closer or whereas in recursive enumerable language some some w but here all so and l equal to l of m there is a difference between recursive language and recursively enumerable language now coming to closer properties of both combinations recursive and recursively enumerable languages here also all properties are stated in the form of theorems the theorem one is the complement of a recursive language is recursive that is recursive languages are closed under complementation so this is the property of recursive language not recursively enumerable the remain next two properties are combination of rel also so the complement of a recursive language is recursive suppose l is a language its complement is l dash or l bar is also a recursive language that means recursive languages are closed under complementation diagrammatically this can be represented as shown below here a language l which is accepted by the turing machine m then we have taken a string w then m takes input as the w then it gives output as so here recursive language means we have two possibilities which is a decidable language which gives both yes and no here y stands for yes no stands for 
no n stands for no now you see if the input is yes then the complement output is now you can see no if input is no then the complement of l the result is yes here you can see the direction also so here n to y y to n so this is the first closure property of recursive language so recursive language are closed under complementation then uh, second theorem or second property the union of two recursive languages that means l1 is one recursive language then l2 is another recursive language l1 union l2 is also recursive that means recursive languages are closed under union this is also the property related to recursive language now let us see l1 is the language accepted by the m1 turing machine 1 then l2 is the language accepted by the turing machine 2 let us take a string w uh, which can be considered the input of the m1 machine then uh, here one possibility if uh, the output of m1 is y then the final result is also y yes then other uh, combination with uh, m2 so here m2 is the turing machine 2 now it takes uh, two inputs one from directly from the w then another from output of m1 becomes uh, uh, input of m2 here two possibilities are there if uh, m2 output is yes the final output is also yes if m2 output is n then final output is also n no so here yes no both results are there because this is a recursive language so these two theorems are two properties are related to recursive languages then coming to theorem three so which is combination of recursively enumerable language the union of two recursively enumerable languages are recursively enumerable suppose l1 is recursively enumerable language L2 is also recursively enumerable language. Then L1 union L2 is also recursively enumerable language. That means recursively enumerable languages are closed under union. Diagrammatically, this can be represented as. See, we already know recursively enumerable language is a semi-decidable language which gives the result as only yes, irrespective of any input. Here we have taken a W string as the input for both missions M1, M2. Here you can see the common output, yes. So that is the uh, property of recursively enumerable language. Then another uh, theorem or property. So here, uh, which is uh, combination of uh, recursive and recursively enumerable. If a language L and its complement L dash are both recursively enumerable languages. So L, L dash are recursively enumerable languages. Then both L and L dash are uh, recursive also but reverse not possible if a language and its complement are recursive and enumerable then both the language and its complement also recursive that means recursive languages let us say l accepted by the turing machine one then l dash accepted by m dash w is the input now m is the the turing machine which gives a combination of recursive and enumerable which gives the result as s only then m dash is the complement if output is yes the final result is no so now here you can see we have yes and no that's why both are recursive languages also why? because here two outputs are there if the output in both cases is only yes then that is only recursive and enumerable but here two outputs are obtained yes and no that's why this is also recursive okay uh, these are all the uh, closure properties of uh, recursive and recursively enumerable languages then coming to summary so here we discussed about uh, so what is recursively enumerable language then what is recursive language then what are the closure properties of recursive and recursively enumerable languages okay now i stop here next class we will come up with other new